really cool way of dealing with um with hunters uh okay. but i don't think i can because i need my uh bazooka and exploding rounds okay when do we get to use a slingshot uh when we play legend of zelda ocarina of time oh fine super soaker 120 um you know what that's actually in plant uh zombies ate my neighbors oh nice okay one second we gotta we gotta pause here real quick actually let me see now we're good we're good okay it seems like the recording was messed up but it's not okay <clears throat> so uh yeah i was gonna show you a really cool way of dealing with hunters um but um i can't because uh, we need the bazooka so i'll just tell you um i found one of the easiest ways of dealing with them is they jump at you right like when they're when they're close to you and you aim at them they jump at you because they're fucking assholes right um if you can see them which is rare um you can aim up and shoot them with a shotgun and as soon as they hit the ground you just shoot them on the ground twice it's it's like the best way of dealing with them other oh. than bazooka all right um also this shit right here or there's a hunter over here, but you can't see him. Oh, yeah. This is bullshit, Konami. So what do you do? To shoot at the air? Yeah, I, I gotta let him... Oh, fuck. Ugh. Um, see, I was practicing here where he would jump high and you could you could aim up at him, but yeah. he was too far back. Oh, it's just annoying. Um, So, yeah, we're using the bazooka for a little bit because I think it's going to be easier to deal with okay um so when last we left off we got a battery which means that we get to go back across there's so much backtracking this fucking game yeah <sighs> and dark areas yeah luckily resident evil 2 is a little bit better lit and so is 3 i believe so yeah as we progress through the series it will be easier to watch um It'd be awesome if jill just went down a pipe and just popped up somewhere else <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting weird frame rate issues right now for some reason with the capture. I can see it. Huh. It's weird. I might have to tweak something in a second here. Ooh. There are those snakes. Oh, sneaky snakes. I'm surprised they don't like fall on that thing when, like, you, you know, you're, you're when surprised? you're going down. You're surprised? You, you mean grateful. We're fucking grateful that they don't fall down on that thing. Because <laughs> if the snakes follow you down the elevator, that would freaking suck. This is true. Touche. Oh. Yeah. Um, luckily, they... Um, and they respawn, too. A whole lot. Oh, shit. I didn't put my ribbon away. God damn it. I need that space, too. This is just... This is not turning out well. Yeah. Combine it with the battery. <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. We gotta go run back to the room real quick and uh, drop off my ink ribbons. Man, what a waste of time. I know! <laughs> if only there were a way to edit this out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember to edit this out. <laughs> there's funny, cause um, when I do, um, uh, there's a bunch of Resident Evil episodes like that where I say like, oh, I'm gonna name the episode this, or not Resident Evil, um, Middle Gear Solid with Cody. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, we should name the episode this, or oh, I'll just remember to edit this. I never remember. <laughs> it's not like I, I proofread these or, any, or proof watch these. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Although I will tell you that I go back and I listen to, because um, um, to find the names of episodes, I'll listen to the, the episode. Um, oh, okay. And then anything I find particularly particularly funny or a theme for that episode or anything that just stands out to me, it's what I named the episode. Um, so sometimes I have to listen to the whole or watch slash listen to the whole episode till I find something. Yeah. And um, I'll find myself, Cody will say something, and in my mind I'll have a reaction. Like I'll have a just a just off-the-cuff reaction, and then I'll say it on, on screen. It's, nice. it's really weird to like think something and then you yourself say it it's it's just it's weird <laughs> and it just goes to show that um i'm programmed pre-programmed um to just repeat the same stuff okay <clears throat> back on track all right 
So we're going to get to explore a new area now. Um, a new area that I think we've already decided that up to this point you don't re remember any of this game. Right. This is all yep. new. This is definitely new to me, for yeah. sure. Um, so that'll be good. I remember... Like I said, I've been practicing this a little bit, so I think I remember where to go. So I don't think we'll have too much, too many problems. Nice. Because um, the worst thing in this game is just... Do I go here? No, shoot. Where's the key for that? God damn it. And then having to backtrack all the way. Yeah. Okay. Does it ever get bright in this game? Or is it, like, dark the whole time? Pretty much. Um, do you remember the, the painting area? Yeah. Uh, that's about as bright as it's ever going to get. Huh. Um, no, no, I mean, like, is it ever daylight outside, I guess? No. No. But wasn't there a scene where, uh, gosh, the beginning of the, like, earlier in the game where somebody was pecked to death by crows outside or something like that? Yeah. Um, and was that we, daylight or no? If we went there now, it, it would probably, it would be, I think it's about this bright, if I remember okay. correctly. I mean, maybe it was daylight, I just don't mm -hmm. remember it being super bright. Uh, but that's probably, that, that area is about as, as bright as it's going to get. Let's just have this whole episode be a discussion of daylight versus nighttime and... I'm, okay, I'm down. So, um, my favorite, I'm over it. My favorite, oh, <laughs> I like the nighttime. I like the nighttime too. Man, that'd be awesome if there's night vision goggles. <gasps> yeah, like something that you could like see at night with. Like you put them yeah. on and it gives you night vision. And but like, it wouldn't be perfect because you know there's no light reflecting, so it would have right. to be like filtered in some color, like red or something. Yeah. So that everything you see is red. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> Uh, this is what I never understood about night vision goggles in movies, right? Yeah. So, um, they throw a flashbang, and the guy's like, oh, it's super bright, right? Right. All the night vision goggles are doing is turning, uh, you know, low-level light into brighter light. Why isn't there a cap for that? Why isn't there an upper limit for the amount of light that <laughs> night vision goggles can give off? Because you throw a flashbang on my TV, and the TV doesn't, you know, blind me, so why right. isn't there an upper limit on the goggles? Seems like a poor design choice. Yeah, it's horrible. All right, there's a ladder. Should I go down? Oh, hell's yeah. All right, now whatever happens next is next is on you. All right. Until it isn't. Until it isn't. <laughs> oh, it's spooky, oh. scary. All right, now this place is a maze, believe it or not. A freak. Ooh. That was a typewriter, right? You could save the game I there. could, oh. if I had ink ribbons, which I don't. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a hexagonal hole. Okay. Let me try over here. She's uh, apparently walking on a bunch of candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this texture is fucking miserable because it's hard to tell, like, is there a door at the end of here? Is that a dead end? How, right. how, how far can I walk? Yeah, this texture is, is fucking miserable. <laughs> so I think this is yeah, there's supply there's surprise here. Let's get the surprise. It's a power okay. generator, but it does not seem to work. So they put this stuff in front of the power generator. So like if you're spamming around trying to pick it up a lot, like she'll just sit here. It's a power generator. It's a power generator. Yeah. It's a power generator. That's a F aid spray. It's a fade spray. Yeah. Fade spray. It's yeah. A aid spray. And this is explosive errors. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, it's a power generator, and I don't think you can literally do anything with it. So it's like, what's the point of even putting it there? Why not just have shelves? But you have a battery. I had a battery. I put it in the. Okay, ciao. Is, is that how generators work to you in your mind? You you hook a battery up to them and then they provide power. Well, you charge it up with oh, your charger. Oh, first. you have to start it with the battery. Okay, that makes sense. So. That makes sense. No, I had to ditch it for the elevator. That's right. I could probably take it back out of the elevator now, but I wouldn't be able to go back up to the mansion again. Mm. So 